एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर फाइन द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक्स ए एंड बी इन द्री सिचुएशन सोन इन द फिगर लेट एस लुक एट दिन इन पार्ट ए लेट एस फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द टू ब्लॉक्स लेट एस एज्यूम दैट ब्लॉक बी गोज डाउन वाइल ब्लॉक ए राइजेज अप एज कैन बी सीन इन द एनिमेशन इफ द ब्लॉक बी मूव डाउन बाई एक्स द पुली टू विच इट इज हैंगिंग ऑल्सो मूव डाउन बाई द सेम डिस्टेंस एज वी कैन सी द पुली कैरीज स्ट्रिंग्स ऑन इट्स बोथ साइड so in order to move distance x the pulley needs extra 2x length of string but that string can only be provided if block a moves up by that amount so the block a moves upward by distance 2x since the block a moves twice the distance moved by block b in the same time the acceleration of block a must be twice the acceleration of block b so if we assume the acceleration of block b to be a in downward direction the acceleration of block a is 2a in upward direction Now suppose that the string supporting block A and pulley has tension t in it. Then the pulley supporting block B must experience 2t tension in upward direction. Since the pulley is massless, it cannot experience any net force on it. So the string pulling the pulley down must apply 2t tension on it in downward direction, which means block B is being pulled up by tension 2t. Now let us make the free body diagram of A. A gravitational force mg acts on it in downward direction. it is pulled up by tension t in the string and it is moving upward with acceleration 2a thus for this block net force 2ma must act in upward direction and t minus mg must be equal to 2ma now for block b gravitational force of capital mg will act downwards and we have seen that it is being pulled up by tension 2t also we have assumed that it is moving downwards with acceleration a therefore capital mg minus 2t must be equal to capital ma multiplying equation 1 by 2 and adding it to equation 2 we get capital mg minus 2 mg is equal to 4 ma plus capital ma which on simplification gives a equal to capital m minus 2 m into g divided by capital m plus 4 m it is given in the question that capital m is 5 kg and m is 4 kg putting these values we get 5 minus 8 into g divided by 5 plus 16 that is minus g by 7 The negative value here signifies that the acceleration of the block is opposite to the direction that we assumed. So for block A, as we have assumed the acceleration to be 2a in upward direction, so it will move by acceleration 2g by 7 in downward direction. And as we have assumed the acceleration of block B to be a in downward direction, its acceleration will be g by 7 in upward direction. In part B of the question, using the similar line of logic as we have applied in part A. we conclude that if block a is pulled rightwards with tension t block a will be pulled up by tension 2t also if we assume that block b moves downward with acceleration a block a will move towards right with acceleration 2a drawing the free body diagram of a the only force acting on it in horizontal direction is tension t and that tension must provide its acceleration 2a therefore t must be equal to 2ma For block B, it is being pulled down by gravitational force of capital M G and pulled up by tension 2 T. As a result of these two forces, it is moving downwards with acceleration A. Therefore, capital M G minus 2 T must be equal to capital M A. Putting the value of tension from equation one in equation two, we get capital M G minus 4 M A is equal to capital M A, which implies capital M A plus 4 M A is equal to capital M G. Thus, A is equal to capital M G divided by capital M plus 4 M. Now the value of capital M and M is given in the question as 5 kg and 2 kg respectively. Putting these values, we get acceleration as 5 g by 13. Thus, the acceleration of block A is 2a, that is 10 g by 13 towards right, while that of block B is a, that is 5 g by 13 in downward direction. In part C of the problem, the relation of tension and acceleration remains same as previous two parts. Thus, in the free body diagram of A, tension will be t in upward direction. gravity mg in downward direction and acceleration 2a in upward direction the equation will be t minus mg is equal to 2ma similarly for block b gravity is capital mg in downward direction tension 2t in upward direction and acceleration is a in downward direction the equation that we get is capital mg minus 2t is equal to capital ma multiplying equation 1 by 2 and adding equation 2 to it we get Capital M G minus 2 M G is equal to capital M A plus 4 M A, which implies A is capital M minus 2 M into G divided by capital M plus 4 M. Putting the value of capital M as 1 kg and M as 2 kg, we get acceleration as minus G by 3. The negative sign implies that the acceleration of the blocks are opposite of the direction that we assumed. Therefore, block A will move with acceleration 2 G by 3 in downward direction, and block B will move upwards with acceleration G by 3. 
to request solution of any question of hc verma book post the question number and chapter number in comments below subscribe the channel for further updates thank you for watching